Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a get ready with me video for y'all today. So I wanted to play with some products from Models Own. I wanted to play with them on camera, let you kind of like see them in action, let you know my thoughts along the way as I was getting ready. And I got all these from Ulta. So that's where I purchased them from. And as far as the look, it's kind of classic sort of makeup. I really didn't know what was going to happen. I knew I wanted to do a red lip and this is the eye look that ended up happening. So yeah, this is the makeup look. Played with some stuff from Model Zone, some other things as well. So do you wanna get ready with me? Then just keep watching. Okay, we seriously need to do something here because I'm looking real tired and real puffy. So let's take care of that. I'm gonna use this Pixie Skin Treats 24K Eye Elixir Energizing Peptide Serum. So I'm just gonna rub that under my eyes. It's very cooling. I really like this stuff. This was a monthly favorites a while back. But it's just cooling. Let's try to calm those puffy eyes down. And my eyes are red. And I don't even have my jewelry on. What is happening? Next I'm gonna use this Derma E moisturizer. This is the Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer. It says probiotics and roibos. Whatever that is, but I'm guessing it's something good. Trying to get some out. Hang on. Okay, finally got some. Woo! Smells very citrusy. Feels nice and light, so good for during the day. And it even said that, that it's good for under makeup. Don't mind that. We'll take care of that. That's a nice, big, ugly, disgusting looking zit. Next, I'm gonna apply some of my Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. I love this stuff. It's almost like a primer. Like it just preps everything, works really well on her makeup. It's just really good stuff. Fills in the lines. I do feel like it's helped the fine lines. Um, it's just expensive. I like the packaging though too. So it is good. And last step before foundation, I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless. I do find that this foundation I'm about to use for Model Zone, um, for me, I need some kind of a primer. Um, it's pretty long wearing, but I just find that it wears better with a primer. So something oil controlling or something like that. And clearly I need something blemishless for this thing. So this is the foundation. It's the Models Own Runway Foundation. It's matte and oil free. And I have it in Bisque 02. This is not necessarily like too dark for me, but definitely too yellow. It still works, but um, it's not the ideal color for me. But from what I saw from other people's videos, the the um, lightest color, oh, I got too much. The lightest color would have been, I think, way too light on me because it was like really, really fair. So didn't go with that one. So I think this one works, but you can just see it's, it's too yellow for me. So it's kind of like a creamy, moussey sort of a consistency. Pretty good coverage, I mean, it doesn't cover that thing, but that's gonna need some extra attention. But um, I like it, like it blends well, um, covers nicely. I found that it wears pretty well. Again, wears better with a primer, but um, pretty good matte foundation. <laughs> I look ridiculous right now. I'm just noticing like the difference between like the pink in my skin and how yellow this is. I'm really kind of more neutral. I can go either way, but this is just very yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this thing a little bit just because I don't want to look at it the whole time. I'm gonna use this Pure um, Concealer. This is the Disappearing Act and this is in light. And I'm just using um, actually like an artist's brush, like just a paint brush. And I'm just gonna apply that right on top of it. If I didn't grab a color corrector, that probably would have been better, but we're gonna make this work. I'm not going to any big event or anything, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I find that when I have a zit like this, I try to go like underneath it versus like on top of it so much, and then kind of like blend around it so that it kind of like blends away. But I try to get those shadows, like if it's a raised pimple, I try to get the shadows around it if I can. Now I'm gonna apply some eye primer. Today I'm using my Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. 
Now I'm gonna do my brows same way I always do, so I will link my eyebrow routine down below for y'all. Okay, for eyes today, I'm gonna use the Models Own Vintage Rose Palette. This is the one that I've heard the most people talk about, but honestly, just looking at them all, this is the one that intrigued me the most. So I'm gonna get this one right here on the brush that comes with it. This one is Cameo, is the color name. And I'm just gonna apply that into my crease and blend. This brush that it comes with isn't terrible. I mean, it's a little bit scratchy. It's not the best, but you can see, I mean, it, it blends. I mean, it's, it's functional. I've been liking this palette. Like, I think the shadows are good. Um, I don't think it's the best palette I've ever used. Like, they seem... I'm losing my voice. But they seem like, I don't know, a little bit powdery or something. I can't really, I don't know, pinpoint why I'm not like jumping up and down over them, but I do like them. So I'd say if there's a good sale, I think they're a really good drugstore eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow palette formula. Eyeshadow formula. And it's a pretty good palette. Um, but not as good as, you know, like, I don't know, Makeup Geek shadows or something like that. And for my lid, I'm gonna take some of this shade right here, this really light white, and just apply that right on my lid. I wasn't feeling like doing a gold look, just, I don't know. I'm gonna do a red lip, which really will not match my shirt, but that's okay. So I just kinda wanted to like, not do a gold eye with a red lip because I feel like that's what I do every time I do a red lip. Not every time, but a lot of times. Okay, to get a little bit more intensity, I'm gonna apply that with my finger. That definitely helps. And for my outer corner, I'm gonna get some of this shade right here, this dark brown on just a small crease outer corner brush and just apply that. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna take a little bit of this color right here. This is Lace on a Luxie 221 brush. Where is that color? It's not showing up. There it is, a little bit. That's what I find with this palette is that some of them show up well and then some of them really don't. So that's why I say like, I like this palette, but I'm not like blown away by it. Now I have used lace on my lid and I feel like it was better there. So maybe it's just, maybe it's not very good for the lower lash line. I don't know. I feel like I need to blend this a little bit. Now I'm gonna apply some of this liner and smudge it out a little bit. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I love, love, love this, but it does smudge on me pretty badly. So I'm gonna use some of this over the top of it just to help with that. This is the CoverGirl The Super Sizer. Then for my brow bone, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Brulee Eyeshadow and just a no-name brush. I think this is from CVS, maybe? I don't really know. For concealer, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Model Zone Flawless Under Eye Concealer, and this is in 22 Pearl. This is, this is what it looks like. This is borderline too dark for me, um, but it still, it still works, and also it has a little bit of like a peachy tone to it, so I think that's another reason that it still kind of works for me. I'm using a Delium Tools 788 brush to blend this in. This is pretty nice. It's a thick concealer though. So good coverage, but I think it's a little bit thick. Like for my preferences, I prefer the Maybelline Dream Lumi over this. I just feel like it works better under the eyes. This does work, but I just like that one better than this one. Yeah, just looking at it, it just looks a little bit like thick under my eyes, so I think it's okay. Like, I think it covers, but just not my favorite texture. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that looks absolutely disgusting, and just get a little bit of that and just apply that on the darkest part of my under eyes just for a little bit more coverage. 
or this monster one more time with that pure concealer. Just using my finger this time just to, I don't know, try to do something with it. I really needed to get a color corrector for it, but I like cover, I need a cream color corrector palette because I like cream color correctors for pimples. Well, I like just cream concealers in general for pimples because I feel like it like layers on itself better. So I need to get that. Now I'm going to set my whole face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact in light 15. I'm using an e.l.f. blush brush and a Real Techniques blush brush. Then this palette is the Sculpting Glow. This is what it looks like on the outside. Really pretty. This is in light to medium 02. One thing I like but kind of don't like about these is they have a magnet, but it's not very strong. Um, and the eyeshadow palette is even like less strong. Like this one feels like it's almost like doesn't even have a magnet. So, I mean, it's pretty, but I wouldn't travel with these. This one's definitely stronger than the eyeshadow palette. So maybe my eyeshadow palette's just not that great. The magnet on it, who knows? Anyway, okay, I'm gonna use this um, bronzer here or the sculpt shade. And my Delium Tools 945 brush. Now I'm gonna get some of the blush from that palette on my MAC angle brush, whatever this one is, angle contour, something like that. And then some of the highlighter on a Delium Tools 787 brush. Um, as far as texture on this palette, I do like it. Like, this is probably one of my favorite things that I've gotten and tried from them. Like, if I were to recommend something, this is probably my favorite one. I like the texture of it. Um, I probably even like it more if it were more like pinky toned, because this is definitely more warm toned. But um, it is still really pretty, and it wears well throughout the day. And the blush color is like, it is a really pretty kind of like, peachy glowy shade, um, but I'd love if they maybe added a pink one. I don't remember if they have a pink one. They have a light to medium and then medium to tan, medium to deep, something like that. I need to check that one out and just see what the colors are in that one. And then lastly for lips, I'm gonna use this product. I also have this one from them. This is the Lux Stick Velvet Lipstick. So that's what the outside box looks like. Um, I like this pretty well, like, but it's not my favorite lipstick I've ever used. This is the color, what color? 18 Hello Hawaii. Um, so it's kind of like a bright, corally sort of a shade. It's, I don't know, it's pretty. I think it looks prettier in a swatch. On my lips, it was a little bit, um, I don't know, one of those kind of like waxier um, lipsticks that sort of like accentuated dry patches. So that's why that wasn't my favorite. I think it was more I can't tell. Let me know if you've tried this in a different color, if it's the formula or if it's the color that I chose. It's okay, but I like this better, this better. So I'm gonna use this today. This is the, it says LIX Matte Liquid Lipstick. It says smooths over with a hint of mint. And I have the shade Strawberry Mojito, number two. And I'm gonna use my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Sedona Red and line my lips first, and then I'll apply this. And the formula on this, I really do like it. Like it starts out feeling kind of moussey, but then it does set down, but not to be like super uncomfortable or anything. So I feel like it's kind of like a really good mix where a little bit moussey, but then it sets down to be more matte, but not super duper matte. So I really do like the formula of it. So I would say that the Sculpt and Glow Face Palette, this product, and then this one, I didn't use this in this look, but I've used it several times and I love it. The Color Chrome Eyeshadow Kit, I have it in Golden Lights. These are my favorite three products. And I do show this in a Friday favorite so you can see it on me, but it's just a really pretty kind of like glittery um, sort of a shadow product. So those are my favorite three things that I've tried from them.
All right, guys, so that wraps up this get ready with me. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you've been loving playing with lately. If you've tried any products from Models Own, I would love to know which ones you've tried, which ones you enjoyed. I would love to try out more of their products. So let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.